Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a requested video by Super Dancer to twelve oh three, Miss Patrice, and she wanted to know if I could compare the Beauty Big Bang Gold Polish with the Nicole Diary. They look very similar, and I thought I would go ahead and throw in the Born Pretty Gold one also. They're all very, very similar. So I'm gonna get the caps off of these, and we're gonna do some stamp testing over off white and black. Today, I'm gonna be using this Beauty Big Bang. 1-0 plate. It's like a floral design. I'm going to be using my Beauty Big Bang metal stamper and my clear jelly scraper. So here we go. Let's get started. The first one I'm trying here is the Nicole Diary Gold. And that's just beautiful over both. And let's try, I'm going to clean off the same image because I don't want it to be, you know, I want it to be the same. <laughs> and this one is the Beauty Big Bang Gold. Beautiful pickup. And transfer. And to me, they look the same. I mean, they look totally the same. All right. <clears throat> and now for the Born Pretty. And, you know, I guess when it comes down to this, when it's they're the same, um, I guess you would just decide which ones are easier for you to get or price point might determine which one you get. And there we go with the Born Pretty Gold. They all look exactly the same to me in my eyes right here in, 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 in here today. Okay, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and we're going to test some more. Okay, it appears my camera just cut me totally off. I have tested the blues that I have. I've got one from Born Pretty right here over the black. And you can see it doesn't show up over the black very well. But the royal blue from Beauty Big Bang, you can still see it over the black, especially when the light hits it. So sorry about the camera cutting off on me. I have issues with, with that sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to get this cleaned up, and we're going to come back and test. Alrighty, next I'm going to test or compare a couple of reds. I've got the Crayola from Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Wild Strawberry, which is not a stamping polish, and then the Nicole Diary Red. So we're going to start with the Nicole Diary Red. Ooh, wait. Okay, and that one does show up over the black especially if you put it in the light. It kind of changes it, though. It, now it looks more like a brick red in real life. But man, over that lighter color, that off-white, whoo, that looks great. Clean this plate off. And now we're going to try the Sally Hansen Crayola in Strawberry, or Wild Strawberry. And here we go. And the same for that one, really. I mean, it shows up over the black a little bit, kind of. But, and it doesn't look brick red as brick red as this one did. So, you know, take it for what you will. I don't, you know, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get some more polishes ready, and we're going to stamp test them real quick, too. Okay, I am back, and I have a pile of black stamping polishes and one regular polish to um, stamp test with. And I'll just say them as I'm going through. We're going to start with the Nicole Diary. Black. I'm just going to go down the middle with these. So here we go with Nicole Diary. And that's just beautiful. <clears throat> And then, yeah, next, next, we're going to do the Bundle Monster Black. And I'm not going to use the same image on these. I'm just going to use the plate's worth and go down the line. So this one is Bundle Monsters. Ooh. 
Oh, very nice. Oh, I'm not even showing. So here we go with the Nicole Diary and then Bundle Monster. Okay, next I am using Queen. And I know, it's not somebody's favorite. <laughs> but I have it to compare, so we're going to do it too. So there's Queen. That one did just fine. And next we're going to do the Born Pretty. Alright, Born Pretty. Mine's about empty. I mean, it's, it says it's half full, but it's looking a little empty. So there we go. Excellent. Alrighty, and the next one is the black from Beauty Big Bang. paper down here. Very nice. That one right here. Okay, and the next one I have to try on the black polishes is from Brave Steva. That one did really nice too. Because that's got a lot of fine lines. Oh, get this under there. A lot of fine lines and it picked up all of them. Alrighty. Gotta clean the plate off. Okay, and the next to the last one is this pen pay. I think I got it off of um oh I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> I think you can get them from different places now, but I think I might have gotten mine from AliExpress. Okay, let's stamp that one there. And this one kind of looks more navy blue in real life. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. But it does pick up really well. It does just fine. So that's the pen pay. And then finally, I'm going to do Funky Fingers, which is another regular polish, not a stamping polish. But this has become, you know, a favorite. I really do like it. So I wanted to put it up here with the other ones. There we go for the funky fingers. I'm going to get ready to do some white polishes. I'll be right back. Here we go. I am ready to swatch some of the white polishes for stamping. I'm going to start with Bundle Monsters White. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. And then next I'm going to do Poin. And I'm going to tell you this Poin one doesn't look like pure white. It looks, it's got a little off-whiteness to it. It's, I don't know, maybe mine's old and just doesn't, doesn't look as opaque or whatever anymore. I don't know. But it looks fine. It doesn't look as bright white as the Bundle Monster one, though. And next I've got Penpei decided that's how I'm going to say it. Pen pay. Another beautiful transfer. I'm going to flip this plate around and do this Conad one. It's the only Conad stamping polish I have. I have owned the black before, but, you know, I just didn't repurchase, so... Nothing wrong with it, I just didn't rebuy it. So here's Conad's white, and it's very bright white. Alright, I'm going to get these cleaned up and moved around. I've got four more to show. Okay, I am Betty back and ready to rock. We're going to start with the Crayola White from the Sally Hansen line. And it is not a stamping polish, but that is what I bought it for. Very beautiful, very nice. And I will go through these and give you close-ups of everything at the end. Next, I have the Nicole Diary White. Beautiful. You know I love my Nicole Diary ones. 
but I want to show people some options maybe maybe there are some that are easier to get and next is Born Pretty well and I kind of figured that all of these would do rather well because they are in my stamping box which means I must have deemed them okay to keep so okay and the last one is sorry that was born pretty is funky fingers and this isn't a stamping polish but it's it is in my book it's excellent for stamping so here we go with funky fingers and look at that okay <clears throat> let me get these bottles out of the way show you. Okay. This first one is Bundle Monster. The second one is Queen, Pen Pay, Conad, Sally Hansen Crayola White, Nicole Diary, Born Pretty, and then Funky Fingers. So you can see they all did really, really well. I mean, they, they picked up the images really great. They transferred awesome. So there we go with that. I'm going to clean up this mess and go through them, and I'll be right back. Okay, I decided since I have more room left on my little, you know, makeshift swatching paper, I would go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and do all of the other Nicole Diary polishes. I use these a lot in my videos and I just figured why not let me show y'all what I've got and that way you can make an informed decision if you are shopping for stamping polishes and I'll try to work my way through my whole collection it won't be in this video but we're gonna work on it so here's like the violet color purple and it does really great over both black and white next we have this bright green look just as bright and vivid over well it's not showing up on camera like I can see it here maybe it's just the light bouncing off of it I don't know but in real life it's very very apparent that it's there next I'm going to do this baby blue shows up excellent over both turn this plate around and we're going to do the silver. And y'all have seen me use this silver a whole bunch of times. I've used it a lot. So it will be no surprise that this one is going to show up over both. <laughs> Very nice. And then this one is kind of a rose colored. It's looking more pink or whatever. I mean, pink, pink. But it's more of a dusty rose. Mauvy, not mauvy, but dusty rose for sure. Okay. And there you go. All of these are showing up really, really well over. There you go. There you go. You got to see the green over the black. All right. I have five more. I'll be right. And for the final five, here we go. I've got this other blue. And this one is similar to the Born Pretty Blue. Um, and that Beauty Big Bang Blue, but it's it doesn't have any metallic in it, so it's just a cream blue. So we're going to do that one. Beautiful, beautiful pickup. And I will show you, I'll pick it up and show y'all at the end how, how they look. Because down here, that far from the camera and everything, it's just not showing up as well. Next, I have a red, and I should have done this one along with the Sally Hansen and the Nicole Diary red. I didn't think I was going to keep going, though, so. Beautiful, beautiful. Had a little bit of blue still left on my stamper. <laughs> okay, and next, I have this, like, really wild it's more purple, but it does got some pink to it. Very, very bright, bright color. Okay. 
Beautiful. It doesn't show up as well over the black. And this one, the red did like that other one, the Nicole Diary. It kind of looks more brick red now over the black. And this one is like a brown. It's, more, it's got some red tones to it, but it's definitely brown. I'm going to give that one a go. Beautiful. Slide this down just a little bit because we got one more to do, the yellow one. Here's the yellow. How pretty. Bright, bright yellow. Let's see how it stamps. Alrighty, let me get these bottles out of the way so I can pick this up and show y'all. We have the blue, does very well, and then the red, and then that fuchsia y purple, more purple. That's that image with the fine lines, but it did pick up everything really, really well. And then the brown, and then the yellow. The yellow kind of goes into a funky greeny yellow over the black kind of cool though. Well alrighty, well that is my stamp testing for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. And um, I do have more stamping polishes and regular polishes that I do stamp with. So we might continue this another day. So thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.